This video introduces the Designs folder in LeapFrog Works and the functionality it contains. Importing your designs into LeapFrog Works allows you to visualize them in the same space as your geological information, allowing you to quantify the interaction between the designed environment and the geological environment. Designs in the DXF or DWG formats can be imported into the LeapFrog Works Designs folder. These files contain one or more layers consisting of 2D and 3D data. When a design file is imported into Works, the user gets the option to choose which layers to import. By default, all layers will be imported. To import a design file, right-click on the Designs folder in the project tree. Select Import Designs and navigate to the data that you would like to import. LeapFrog Works allows you to import multiple design files at the same time. Select the necessary files and click Import. In these design files, we have an alignment, an extent, and a tunnel design. If the files contain information in more than one coordinate system, select the system you want to use from the coordinate system list. All layers are selected by default. We can select OK to import the data. The three parts of the file are being imported into the Designs folder beneath the Tunnel heading. Designs can also be exported to a DWG file by simply right-clicking the top-level object and selecting Export. Each part of the design can be viewed separately by dragging the required file into the scene or altogether by dragging the Tunnel heading into the scene. Drag in your geological model too to see how the design and the geology interact. If one of the designs you're using in your model has been updated, you can easily get the latest version of it into your project. Reload functionality allows you to update a design file without having to delete the old one and import the latest version of it. To reload your design file, right-click on it and select the Reload option from the menu. Select the new file and click OK, then you're done. All dependent objects will update automatically. In some cases, a design may need to be moved. Perhaps you realize the design has planned coordinates instead of surveyed coordinates. You can move the design by right-clicking on that design and selecting Move. In this dialog box, use the drop-down to select the objects that you would like to move. This can be the entire design or an individual layer. The selected design object can then be moved by either using the arrows in the scene, or entering XYZ offset values in the dialog box. Designs can be easily visualized in the context of the geology, but to perform detailed analysis like cut and fill volume reports, the design meshes may need to be repaired. Self-intersections are a common problem with design meshes that the cleanup feature can address. If we expand out the parking garage design in the project tree, we can see the self-intersections. If we expand it further, we can see the self-intersections. If you have a problematic layer in your design file, like this one, double-click on it. Check the box for Remove Self-Intersections for Volumes. Now LeapFrog Works will reprocess the object and remove all self-intersections. If the fix is successful, as we've seen here, this design file can now be used for a detailed analysis like cut-and-fill volume reports.